guys, welcome to the MI Garden Midweek Snack. My name is Cindy, and to end this episode, I'm going to teach you how to prepare a creamy chopped salad. It's super simple, delicious, and nutritious as always. And I'm also going to give you a little treat. I'm going to show you around my mini edible garden. Hope you guys do enjoy it and stay tuned. So here are the ingredients you're going to need. A little bit less than half of a purple cabbage. And you can also use green cabbage if you like. And we're just going to finely, finely chop it along with a little bit of cilantro just to add a little bit of heat into our dish and about two stalks of celery finely finely chopped as well and if you guys can find colorful carrots it's going to add more color to the dish and again you just want it finely chopped for the dressing I'm going to add tamarind and all I'm going to do is just soak it in water and then just remove the pods and just going to need about half of that to create that dressing also along with the dressing we're going to need mango and just about half of it will do and it's going to be a really really simple dressing to do as well and just the juice of one lemon and also you're going to need a big avocado we need about half and this is actually going to what we'll seal our tartare and make it nice and creamy you will also need one tomato finely chopped as well and cubed and also some grapes finely chopped as well and cubed and after that um, to make this tartar you need to look for a mold and this mold is going to seal everything and create a beautiful tartar. Once you've finally chopped everything, it'll look something like this. And all you have to do is just smash the avocado around gently, making sure everything's just getting sealed. And you just want to mix it up for a little bit and add more avocado if it's needed to add that creaminess to it so it can be nice and sealed when we put it into our mold. Voila! Now I'm actually going to take you outside to take a peek at my garden. Here we are at a my little edible garden that I have going on and it's quite gorgeous I have to say I'm really in awe of all the colors and the ones I have and we're just going to collect a couple of lettuce, Swiss chard and kale and we're just going to create a bed around it and the way I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the vegan tartare, the creamy chopped salad on these big leaves and you can actually eat them almost like as if they were wraps or tacos and that is totally optional you can just eat it along with the vegan tartare creamy chopped salad and so I'm just collecting quite a few over here have in different colors and some things are actually from starters um, these colorful ones are actually came from little plant starters and the ones that are surrounding it I just threw seeds I had unfortunately um I got them out of their seed packets and I didn't know what was in what was each seed so I just spread them around I'm like well if it sprouts great I can just make a microgreen salad and they have just been growing amazingly well in those raised beds so I'm really 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 blessed about it and over here we have some kale as well it's quite beautiful and over here I, this is the one where I just threw seeds into this bed and it has sprouted so much and look at this beautiful lettuce it's so so big that leaf and really it's been minimal minimal care just watering here and there so I'm just going to slip a couple of few more things and we're gonna head back but first I want to show you my gorgeous nasturtiums and as you guys know these are edible flowers so I'm just gonna add that as a little garnish for me to eat with the vegan tartare Voila, so now we're just going to put all of that into the mold and after that we're going to be ready to pull it out We'll be able to unveil the creamy chopped salad Voila, there it is And all we have to do now is just put that beautiful little flower on top and make our little mango tamarind lemon juice dressing it's just going to go on top or you can put it actually on the side which is what I'm going to do I'm just going to add it over on the side and I can dip it as I see fit you can actually add also some little bit of salt as well just to add that little bit of um, 
balance that the dish would need. And there you go. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Unfortunately, there is no taste test. I was with my dear friend and I really wanted to enjoy this meal with her. So I hope you guys did love this recipe and if you do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, and give it a try and let me know how it goes. Comment down below and let me know which recipes you would like to see in the future. I would love, love to bring them along for you guys. So. Thank you so much and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and have a beautiful weekend. Take care. Bye.